welcome to Aerobics Old Style. Today we have a Pilates workout and you haven't been witness to this bunch behind me just been fighting for their spots on the mat. It's very funny. We're also at Sydney's Olympic Park. You might notice behind us we have a wonderful water feature which is just perfect for Pilates. Let's get going with the warm up. Placing your shoulders just over your wrists and your hips just over your knees. Find your centre line, which means one line between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Imagine your spine and your head is a tabletop. Now let your belly go on a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, draw your navel all the way up towards the spine, connecting with that abdominal wall. And again, breathe in, let it all go. And breathing out. I always visualise a bit of a cat's belly when I'm doing that one. Now keep your navel to your spine as you take your breath in. This is your Pilates breathing and breathing out. Try that again. And breathing out. Now keep breathing like that for the rest of your workout for me. That's going to help you to work on those core muscles and stabilize the spine. Finding your tabletop position, take your Pilates breath in to the back of your lungs, side of the ribs, abdominals firm. Breathe out, drop the chin and curve the chest, stretching out your upper back. And then as you breathe in, find your centre line, just like that tabletop. Breathe out, arch your back. Imagine a fish pushing between those shoulder blades. And as you come back, find your centre line. Breathe out, arch the back. Up toward the sky. And then coming, find your centre. And gently arch your back. Imagine a fist between your shoulder blades. And find your centre. And now stretching up the sides of your back. Take your front shoulder to your front hip on a breath out and you feel the long side of your spine stretching. Take a breath in, find centre. Breathing out, stretching the long side of your back and breathing in. You imagine here a dog chasing its tail. So you take your shoulder towards your hip and look all the way back towards your bottom. And then you come all the way centre, finding that centre line and breathe out all the way back stretching out the long side of your back and coming all the way back to your centre line. Now holding centre, breathe out, reach the front arm up. Breathe in, bring it down. Now without the body moving at all, try not to have any shifts, you move to the back arm. And coming down, if you need to work on your core muscles, you may find that a little difficult. Breathing out. Pause with your navel to your spine. And slowly coming back. Are you still holding that tabletop position? Now I find it's ideal to have a mirror with you when you're learning this one. Because what we think our bodies are doing and what they are doing can be two completely different things. Now stretch out your back leg. Now nothing moves to the waist or the spine. Coming down. And there's a little trick to this one. Squeeze your bottom as the leg reaches out. Now keep squeezing and pushing it down as the leg lifts against it. If you can do that, it's going to really help you to keep that spine still. Breathing out. Lift. Breathing in. Keep your navel to your spine. And remember, try not to have any changes through your torso. Breathing out. That takes an enormous amount of control. So even myself, who's been doing this for 16 years, I still need to think when I'm doing this. Breathing out. Brings out that perfectionist in you and coming down. But Pilates is very famous for working on posture and alignment in your body. And that simply means doing every movement as perfectly as you can, efficiently, without wasting other muscle uses. And again, breathe out. Lift. Now this time, let's try something different. Curve the spine in. Bring your knee to your nose and all the way out. Now this takes a little bit of balance. You needn't do this one if you're not feeling comfortable with it. You can stay with the previous one. Here we go, other side. Breathing out. Lift. Hold that for a moment. Breathe in. Bring your knee to your nose and hold that there for a moment as well. And now stretch that leg out. Squeeze the bottom as that leg lifts up against it. And we come to the other side. And now rotating the spine the other way. Breathe and reach the sky. Open up your chest. Breathe out, coming down. And now hold that for a moment. Stretching out your shoulder blades. Keeping your head down. And now coming all the way back. 
And that brings us to the end of the warm-up section. After the break, I'll be back to give you an abdominal workout. See you soon. Welcome back for the abdominal section. The section I'm showing today is a very traditional series. It's called the abdominal five. So you lift your knees up into a tabletop, use your abdominals, the back of the ribs to make sure the spine remains anchored here. But your pelvis is in neutral. So that means that your pubic bone and the hip bones are on the same plane. It's as if you're sitting in a seat. Your back is very straight. Place your hands on your knees, take a Pilates breath in, and curl forward. Stretch the front leg away, coming back. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And remember keeping that pelvis in its neutral position, breathing out. The spine is in a position we call spinal flexion here, and that means the spine is curved forward. If your neck gets tired, place your head down and that returns you to your neutral position. One more each side, and then we move to the double leg stretch. Out, hands on your kneecaps. Breathe in, reach the hands up. Circle, touch your knees. And again, reach, breathing in. Breathe out around. Breathe in, lengthen up. Circle, breathing in. Now, for any reason this is a little too difficult on your back, you can keep the feet on the ground, and just work the arms. If it's difficult on your neck, place your head down. So if it's finding it difficult, try it like this. Not quite so hard. All the way back. And now moving into the hamstring pull. Lower the front leg. Now remember, head down if the neck gets tired. Down. The focus here is the abdominal walls. The last thing I want you to do is wake up tomorrow with a sore neck because you haven't been listening to your body or maybe being a little competitive with yourself. Breathing out, always working at your own pace is the ideal way to go. Breathing out, it's also a fun journey. Breathing out, breathing in, keep that tailbone anchored, the pelvis is still in neutral, and the hands behind your head, everybody stretch those legs out, and in. Breathe out two, and in. Breathe out three. Now once again, you can place those feet on the ground if you want to and just work on that breathing. Or if you're still feeling the lower back, you stop. Breathing out. Now remember how far you went. Next time, I'll try and take you a little bit further. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Now there's one more of that ab five to go. And here it comes. Single leg stretch with a twist and back. Now beginners, I'm open to a little interpretation here. Be hard trying to work out where the elbows and legs are coming from. Breathe in as you find center. Breathe out, rotate, but once again, notice my pelvis, it doesn't move. Breathing out, that's very important here. The rotation comes through the ribs, out. The legs are there to challenge you. Keep the elbows open. So think of moving from the back of the shoulder. Out. Okay, now let's do a little bit of opposite work there. Coming onto your tummies, make sure your pubic bone and your hip bones are on the same plane here. Do some spine extension to stretch out those abdominals and this should just feel nice. Rest your head and nose down. Push onto your elbows, feel those tummy muscles start to stretch and come up as high as you feel comfortable personally. And then coming all the way down, leading down with your elbows and now heading down with the crown of your head. Navel the spine, breathe out as you push towards your elbows. Breathe in as you lift up and stretch that belly out. Breathe out, coming down onto your elbows and breathe in, relax. Now if you feel any lower back discomfort, stop before that comes on. And breathe in or stop the series altogether. Breathing out. Breathing in. Now placing your hands all the way behind you. Lifting on your own. And once again, coming all the way down. This is strengthening the muscles of your back. 
breathing out. Once again, only come as high as you feel comfortable. Make sure your pubic bone stays absolutely down on the same plane as your hip bones. Keep your navel to your spine, the lower part of your bottom nice and tight, and both those things will help you to stabilize your pelvis. Reach your fingers back and up, and the hands come down to your thighs. One more of these, lift the palms up, reach them high. That helps to come up, down, and are coming back to stretch out your back muscles. And that completes the abdominal section. So after the break, we'll be coming back for some legs. We'll see you soon. Welcome back for the leg workout. The series I'm about to show you is usually done on some of the Pilates apparatus, like the Universal Reformer, the Cadillac, and the Wonder Chair. Quite nasty, and some, in some ways even nastier when we do it standing. First of all, you need to work out when you bend your knees that your knee joint is directly over the ankle joint, and that's for safety of those knees. Now remember your navel to your spine, and as you're doing the exercise, I want you to imagine your back gliding down a wall. As you breathe in, you come all the way down. As you breathe out, you push all the way up. Now, as you come down, notice that I'm getting my thighs parallel to the ground. Now, that's a goal, but it's not a necessity. All the way up and straighten. Breathe in, now grow tall through your spine. It slides down your imaginary wall. Breathe out all the way up. Stretch those legs and try and open your knees out to the side and you're keeping your kneecaps lined up the centre with that second and third toe. Let's do another four. Breathing in. Breathing out. And all the time I'm keeping my navel to my spine. I'm imagining that I have a pair of jeans on that are a size too small. Just stabilising that back. Keeping everything nice and strong. Shoulders relaxed and absolutely at ease. Push all the way up. One more of those. Breathing in as you go down, as low as you feel comfortable. Breathing out as you come up. And our little pulses. Down, little lift. Two, little lift. Three, these are nasty. Four, five. Really start to feel those thighs burning, don't you? And all the way up. Now coming in just a little bit with the feet, what I'd like you to do is to raise your heels, so slightly off the ground. And again, coming down. Pushing up all the while, trying to maintain your balance. And again, all the way down. If that's too difficult, place your heels down on the ground again. So think of this variation as taking you to that next level. And pushing all the way up. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you go up. Breathe in through the nose, growing tall through your spine. Breathing out as you go up. Let's do three more of those. Breathing in. Shoulders relaxed and out. Now still imagining you're gliding down that wall. And two more to go. Breathing out, still trying to stay up on those toes, the heels lifted, and down. And again, slowly up. Okay, here come the pulses. And down. Two, keep those heels lifted as you can. Three, and four. Four more, five. Is that back gliding down the wall? Three, four, and coming up. Give those legs a little shake. If you're sore tomorrow on those sides and that bottom, you can blame me. Now the next one, you're coming into a V position. Standing as tall as you can. Now once again, you start by bending your knees. Now technique here is very important. To go down lower, if you'd like to challenge yourself, the heels lift, and then when you come up, you press your heels down, 
Now for safety, if you feel any popping or clicking in those knee joints, you've gone too far, you don't have the strength to be in that position. And coming down, so you can come all the way down and go all the way up, but you must feel strong and safe. And again, breathing in. Breathing out. And you only lift the heels if you need to. Breathing in. The back of your calves and your tens are very flexible. You may not need to lift the heels at all. And up. Imagine that back gliding down the wall. And coming up. And stretch up out of that waist. Now the pelvis here is a neutral. So you notice my pubic bone and my hip bones are on that same flush plane. And we worked on that in the warm ups. We also worked on that in the abdominal section, understanding the neutral position where everything is safe. Going down. Now I'm not going to make you do pulses here. Relax the hands down, let's free everything up. And bend the knees. Stretch and open the chest all the way up to the high release. Bring the hands back and relax those arms. Stretching up. High release. Open your heart to the sky. And this completes the leg workout for today. After the break, I'll be coming back with your final section. See you soon. Now we need to stretch those muscles out that were just working in that last section. So that would be the fronts of the thighs and the backs of the thighs and the inner thighs. I'd like you to put your left leg out in front, push the hips forward and that opens up the fronts of the hips and now bring that back knee up and stretching out your quadriceps. They're the muscles at the front of your thigh. Now believe me, you need to do these after that leg section. If you don't, you're going to be very, very sore tomorrow after those leg exercises. And now placing your knee over your knee, stretching all the way back, and this stretches out your buttocks. Just relaxing there for a moment. Enjoy that stretch. And coming all the way up, slide that left knee over, place the right leg out in front, and again, push the hips forward, squeezing your bottoms to help facilitate that stretch through the front of the hip. Bending up the knee, holding that quad stretch. And notice that my right knee is just slightly turned out to the side. That's normal. That just allows us to move more freely in the hips. Putting that right knee over, stretch all the way back, opening up your hips. Relaxing in that position, you can allow your head to come all the way down. Now bend in that back knee and we'll stretch out those inner thighs. Starting in a position with the soles of your feet together and Taryn behind me is going to be sitting on top of a towel. That's for those of you that have a little bit of difficulty sitting up completely straight. Now from your position, slowly lean all the way forward and I'll allow you to bend your back on this one and that's opening out your inner thigh muscles. Slowly coming all the way up, stretching your legs out to the side. Now from that position, slowly bringing yourself forward. Now just as far forward as you can. For some of you, if you're a little bit tight through the back of the thighs, you're not going to be able to come as far forward as myself, but you'll also be feeling a hamstring stretch as well. For those of you who are flexible, you'll miss the hamstring stretch completely. Coming all the way back. And now grabbing a towel or a mat, I like you spread it out and give yourself enough room. So you've got lots of room behind you and we're rolling through the spine. Bring your feet up, drop your chin towards your chest, looking at your belly. Hands are on the front of the ankles or underneath the thighs if you're a little bit tight through that back. And this focus is to massage out their spine. It's called the rolling like a ball with a little variation on it for you. Breathe in as you roll back onto your shoulder blades. Breathe out, roll up, hold your balance. Breathing in. Enjoy the massage of your spine. But as I said, make sure that the area you're on is very padded and you feel comfortable. Rolling back. Now take your knees over to the left. 
Roll back on the left side of your back and up. Roll back on the left side of your back. Find center other side and roll back on the right side. Find your balance, try and keep those feet off the ground. Find the center, roll back. And now adding in a variation. One going back, rolling back, and then one to the side. Rolling back, place the knees down. Stretch all the way back. Opening up the chest and find center. Now if you've enjoyed today's workout, we've got many DVDs and videos from all major department stores. You can also visit our website on www.aerobicsoldstyle.com.au. And now building that sequence. Toes just off the ground, rolling back. Rolling up, knees side, rolling back. Rolling up, knees down, and rotate. Stretch that leg out, cross it over. Pitch yourself forward, and coming up. Curve the back, place the hands behind you, and open your chest to the heart. And that completes the Pilates workout for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on Aerobics Old Style very soon.